welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be walking you guys through my favorite tools that I use in the salon. but I actually filmed a video all about the different color lines that I use in the salon and I thought why haven't I shared my favorite tools that I use in the salon because a lot of times I have them spread throughout a lot of my YouTube videos but if you wanted a place to see them all in one place I thought I'd share it here so let's go okay so I thought that I would share with you guys my favorite products from the coloring aspect into cutting and then into things like styling so let's start with coloring my first favorite tool is these ceramic bowls. And I've gotten so many questions on my YouTube channel about why I use ceramic bowls and where I get them. And so the reason why I use them is because, well, they just look really cute. And honestly, there's not really any other reason besides that. I mean, they are a little bit heavier, so they don't tip over as easily on your tray. But other than that, I just love using them because they look so cute and I think that they really elevate the client experience. So I just think that they're so fun. The places where I get them is places like Target, Home Goods, basically anywhere that has cute cereal bowls. That's basically what they are. They're nothing fancy, they're just a ceramic bowl. My next favorite tool that I use is this Crest Extra Long Weaving Comb. And I love this comb because it not only has a really long tail part, which allows me to get in there, get a little bit finer, but it's not that thick. And so I feel like I'm able to do a little bit more detail work than some of the other weaving combs that are out there. I also like the fact that this one has fine teeth on it. Now you guys will see me use this a lot in my YouTube videos. And they actually do come in a two pack where they have one with fine teeth and one with a little bit wider set teeth, but I like to use the fine tooth side. This is probably my most used weaving tool from Crest. I love it. Next up, we have these clips, and the reason why I love them is because they really grip around the hair. You're able to grab a lot of hair in between foiling and styling. Like, honestly, I use these clips all the time. They really grip the hair, and nothing like slips out or slides out because it really grips all the way around it. And so I love these clips. You can get a lot of them from different brands, but my personal favorite are from Framar because they have them in a lot of fun different colors. And speaking of Framer, we couldn't talk about my favorite tools without mentioning Framer's color brushes. You guys, I love these. If you've watched pretty much any of my color videos, you know that I have a slight obsession with Framer brushes. And I particularly love this one with the tail comb because I can get in there section really finely um, for things like platinum cards or if I'm just having to section really detailed things. I love this. I also can pick things out easily when I'm like doing highlights and weaves. And then this really fine bristles um, are just great for doing detail work, especially around the hairline. And then I love my big daddy brush because it allows me just to get in a big chunk of section, get it all done. And if you guys see me use things for like root shadows, root touch-ups, anything where I have to do a lot of coverage, I end up using this one. So these are my two favorite tools. Probably if I had to pick one tool that I could never live without, it would be these guys. And while we're on the topic of tools, I don't know if this one qualifies as a tool, but I think it does. I would have to say my Framar pop-up foils. I love these guys, especially the cute rose gold color. They pop up super easily and they're just really flexible. Plus they look super clean when you're using them on your clients. So no more like weird, crinkly, wrinkly foils. These ones are super, super clean and everything looks very professional. And last but not least, when it comes to my favorite coloring tools, I love this scale from Framar. I just think that it works so well. It really measures things really accurately. And I love how high quality it is, but it's not like overbearing or doesn't take up a lot of space. So this is definitely my favorite tool. Super easy to use, really easy to measure out your color. And you'll see me use this occasionally in some of my videos. All right, so now let's move on to cutting. So I get asked all the time what shears I use and recommend, and I would have to say, hands down, my Hanzo shears. These are my favorite shears. I've used them for years, and yes, they are a bit of an investment, but let me tell you, so worth it. So these are the five and a half inch shears. I'm not exactly sure what model, but I'm sure if you sent them a screenshot of my shears, Hansa would let you know exactly which ones I have. But I seriously just love these shears. So worth the investment. And honestly, I have not gone back since I started using Hanzo's. And literally as I'm filming this video, I just realized that there is a model number on it. It's the HH8. So maybe you can send a message to Hanzo and ask them exactly which ones these are, but I think it's the HH8. 
maybe. <laughs> Hopefully that works for you guys. When it comes to texturizing shears, I love these ones from Hanzo. Again, I bought them together and yes, it was a big investment for me, but seriously, it was the best investment I could have made. So these are the HH14T model number, six inch uh, texturizing shears. And I'm not exactly sure how many teeth these have. You guys, I sound like a real professional here, but seriously, again, if you ask Hanzo, they'd be able to tell you. And I just love these ones as well. And last but not least, let's talk about cutting combs. This is my favorite cutting comb. This is from Crest. It's the Cleopatra 420 cutting comb. I've used these from the beginning of my career. I'm pretty sure I bought these in beauty school and I love them because they actually aren't very flexible. Um, they're very rigid, but they're super cheap and they come in like a 25 pack or something, um, but they're really easy to use. And these have just been the combs that I've used to cut for all these years. Next up, let's talk styling. So my first favorite tool that I use for styling, which I guess this could be styling or could just be like overall general tool is my wet brush. I have used this thing for years. I love it. And they even have a pro version now, which I don't have right now with me, but seriously, it is amazing. You have to get one if you don't already have one for detangling clients at the bowl, for styling clients, for just brushing hair in general. This is probably my most used brush at home and here in the salon. Next up, since we're talking brushes, this is my favorite round brush. This is from From Professional, and I just love this brush. I love not only how cute it looks with the bronze colors in it, but I just love this size. It's their medium size, and seriously, I use this on every single client, whether they have short hair, or long hair. It's just a great size brush and really good quality. Now you guys might've seen me use this in some of my YouTube videos, but this is my favorite blow dryer. This is the Babyliss Pro. And I just love this blow dryer. I've literally used it probably since like the beginning of my career. And I love it because it's really lightweight, yet it's still really powerful. And so if you've ever tried a blow dryer that's like super heavy, or you just feel like you're so exhausted at the end after blow drying, this guy is amazing. It's got tons of power and it's really lightweight. Now. One other thing I will mention is I do love using the Dyson blow dryer. I don't have it here in the salon. I actually use it at home. So that one's another great one as well, but this is what I use in the salon on clients. And I love the fact that it's white and really clean. And last but not least is the Hot Tools one inch curling iron. This is pretty much the curling iron I use 90% of the time. Occasionally I will use their inch and a quarter curling iron, but for the most part, it's my one inch go-to guy. Even with clients with really long hair or someone with short hair like myself, this is my go-to curling iron and I love the clamp iron. It's one of their most classic products and I seriously love this. Now you might be thinking that I shared all my favorite tools and this video is done, but I have one more tool that I wanna share with you guys that might be a little surprising. It's my camera. And seriously, I get asked all the time which camera I use to take all of my hair photos. And this is my favorite one. So this is actually a Canon SL1 and they don't make this version anymore. It's a little outdated. It's pretty old actually, but they have an updated version of the SL2 or the SL3 that actually have a flip out screen, which is so worth it. This one does not have it. So I would definitely recommend getting the newer version, but that's the camera that I use. And then I also use a Canon 50 millimeter 1.8 lens, and that's gonna give you that really beautiful blur in the background. So this is a tool that I use all the time. And besides my phone, this is probably one of my most used tools when it comes to social media. All right, guys, I hope that this video was helpful for you. And one thing that I want to note is a lot of the products and tools that I talked about in this video are actually on my Amazon favorites list. So we linked it down below so you can get all of the things that I talk about here in this video. Most of them are on that list. As always, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that it was helpful for you. And if you haven't already hit the subscribe button, make sure to do so now. I would love to have you on my channel because I share a lot of really cool videos. And if you wanna check out my other video all about the favorite color lines I use, I will link that one in the description box below as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. No stress, I'm good without it. Easy come, easy go.